I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Miami Gardens, Florida, where we find three misfits of society at the police station. Now, this video was previously uploaded by Jailbird Joey and Looney Lana. Now it's Liberty Trolls' turn. Oh, Zany Zach, I love you a long time, sweetheart. Okay, then, let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> Miami Gardens, everybody. City Hall, J Town, Joey Surreal, and yours truly. We're like Spider Man pointing at each other. Happy. Hey, I you guys. Yeah, we'll be on our way out in a little bit. Code compliance. And there's like some kind of big camera there. Mm -hmm. I pressed the button already. It seems as though lately Lana's been confused on who she wants to spend her time with. I don't know. She spends a lot of time with little Joey. And then of course there's Zany Zach. But I want to know what happened to Rusty Boy. That was her first love. And when they get together... Ooh wee, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, don't go in the stairwell. There's key card access to get back in. Uh, don't go inside the uh, stairwell because then you're locked out. So you have to go back out yeah, and come back uh, in. She said it was restricted when she saw you walk through. Oh, I didn't hear her. Yeah. Well, there's three of us. How are you? Good, you? How are you doing? I'm going to start you in Miami Barber Police Department. I can't help you guys. Huh? I can't help you. What's your name? How can I help you? What's your name, What's your name and badge no, number, sir? Can I, I just help you. I'm, your I'm, name and badge number is what I need. That's how you can help. I've, already, I've already been through this with you guys. What's your name then? Oh, just be, be professional. No, 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 no. Be professional. I already said my name. What's Sergeant your name Robert and badge number? That's it. Okay. Okay. Sergeant Robert. Okay. How can we help you guys? We just send a video to the facility. That's it. Okay. Once you finish the video, could you guys leave so we can go back to a regular floor? I mean, One more finish. Do this, baby. One you more guys finish. have nothing better to do but to do this than, you know. I don't like your Take note of how Looney Lana gets right up in this man's grill trying to find his identification. What's the purpose of that, Lana? You got your camera right there. Can't your camera see it? Oh, look at that profile, Lana. So manly. What do you think? That's a little insulting. Why you in? Because it kind of disrupts, it, it disrupts our business. Yeah, yeah, but do you know the case law? Brands where he hates Listen, I don't need you to come about case law. I don't think you're here to help okay, us at all. No guys, how can we help you guys? I don't need your help. It doesn't seem like you want to help. Just take the video of the facility. That's it, dude. Okay, you don't got to be rude. Right, no problem. I'm not being rude. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. No, I'm you not being rude. Said, I just want to make sure you guys need something. You could be more professional. Whatever you need. You need to see somebody. What's your badge number, dude? You need to see a commission of board member. You have a chicken like biscuit. I'll take some cheese and some mayonnaise. What's your What's your? I want fry though. Don't make that grilled stuff on my on my biscuit. Well, what did I tell you? See what I'm saying? These people are tight. Uh, here, dude. Tight. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You have a piece of a cat that could respond here. I'm sorry. You want to move? Kids out there, pay attention. This is what happens to you in life when you're a loser. You have little to no education, no job skills, so on and so forth. You wind up as a frauditor on YouTube. Look at that 50-year-old loser on the right. I don't know how old Lon is. I think she's 37. Losers, losers. <laughs> What do you mean my name? Uh, because your policy is professional. 
right over about it. Just sit here. As long as they don't agitate nobody, they yeah, agitate he, he nobody. Identify, like, identify. We'll disrupt. We'll, you know, we'll, then there'll be a disruption and it'll be breach of each and the sort of conduct. Free police just sit officers. Here, if they disrupt or make any disruption, disorderly conduct. So right now, we're, we're good. They're good. They're going to report all they Sir, want. can I get your name and badge number, please? Hey, sir, how you doing? Can I get your name and badge number? No. Is your body cam on at least? I can't no, have your I can't have your name and badge number. I'm, I'm not giving you that. Why? It's I'm part. Of, I'm sure it's part of your policy, sir. Can you get your hands out of your vest? Why you guys? Why are you guys, safety, why are you guys so unprofessional? Oh, Zany Zach is such a sweet thing, isn't he? Back in the day, he was a real sweet thing. But anyway, yeah, it's just a policy, Zach. It's not a law, right? They're gonna turn the tables on you today, Zach might be a policy to give out their name and badge number but it's not a law what's with the negative attitude we're just in here minding our own business you guys come in for us obviously and you guys want to identify yourselves maybe they had jobs they had jobs that would be better but they don't have jobs so the way you guys are acting i'm going to be filing a formal complaint you guys are obstructing my my means of doing that by not identifying yourselves i need your names and badge numbers you can go complain when you go complain, what, try then to what's your out. name and badge number? Quit, okay. quit obstructing. I'm not giving it to you. Quit obstructing. Okay, no problem. Go complain as much as you want. That's a lawful are you, order. Are you in charge here? I'm a sergeant. I, I, yes, I am a sergeant. Can you, can you ask him to take his hands out of his vest for citizen safety, please? Absolutely not. What, for citizen safety? Absolutely not. So you don't care about You don't tell my officers what to do. I just Absolutely ask you to tell not. Me what to do. No, you're not. Give I'm me not give me your name and badge number. I'm not. For citizen safety. Um, just let them sit here. Oh, HR said, good HR, morning. HR said, Captain, just Sorry. as long as they don't disrupt. Yes. Sorry. Captain? Yes. Right. Captain, sir, it's nice to meet you. You don't, you don't tell this to yeah, Captain's not going to put up with any of this nonsense either, Zany Zach. Doesn't Zany Zach take a nice mug shot? He sure is handsome. I bet your mama's proud of you, isn't she, Zach? What kind of a boy did she raise? Well, that's the problem. You're still a boy. As long, as long as they don't disrupt or as long as you decide to anyone, your if they uh, if they do, what? then we should be. Wait, you're telling him what to do, but he's a captain. As long as you're professional, you I won't file a formal complaint. Okay, well, what is it they need? Uh, well, well, right now I need all. I need them to identify themselves. They won't give their names and badge well, they, numbers. They have well, no, it's covered up. It's covered I I don't know what this who this guy is or this guy. It's covered up by the vest. They have their name plates covered up. So I, can't. I still need his. I still need his badge okay, number. So though. what is it that you need? Names, names and badge numbers. We'll start with that. What happened? What happened that you need? Well, I'll, I will be happy to have that conversation. But first things first, I need everyone's names and badge numbers. No, you got mine. Well, I got yours, but I don't have theirs. I appreciate you taking yeah. out for citizen safety. Thank you. You you're talking to me, so. What is it that you need? I'm I need their. I need. I need, I need your officers' I need these names okay. and badge numbers. What have they done that you need their badge? Is it not, isn't that your policy to identify? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. I'm not, I'm not we not don't. Talking we don't need to not provide not a reason. I thought what, you just said talk to you. What, what is it that you need? What do you need? Well, he wanted to put complaints in, but we need to know. You guys, they're obstructing. Okay, so they're obstructing. Oh yes, indeed, they're obstructing. I think your mama was obstructed when she gave birth, boy. What do you think about that? Zany Zach claims to be a good Christian. Oh, yes, indeed. I don't know too many Christians that have sat around in the back of a squad car handcuffed. Oh, dearie me. You better repent and say some Hail Marys, boy. No, no, putting no, a good complaint. I need their okay, names so who, I can follow a formal complaint. Want, who did want that you want to I need their about. names and badge numbers first, for the record, so you then I can my, get into that with you. You got my name. Who, who I need their, their name, sir. What's, what's what with the lack it? of transparency? There's no lack of transparency. As a, as, as a captain, you, you know, transparency okay. and accountability are, are very important. If not, we're not going to be able to Well, I, I don't like the way this is going because you're failing to answer my first question. I, I'm asking you something. What I've asked you something. What is their names and badge numbers? Do you have an idea? Sir, what is it that they have done? I'll answer your question if you answer my question. Who are these people? They're my officers. What are their names and badge numbers? I will let you know. As soon as I, I don't want to play head games. Do. I don't want to play head games. Why don't, why don't, why the lack I'm of identifying myself, but I I'm the supervisor. I didn't ask for yours. I already got yours. I'm asking for your officers here. I mean, it's simple. This is like we the tenth now, tenth time I've asked you. Okay. So why you? So I, I see why they're happens. so. I know why they're unprofessional because it trickles down from you. Oh, we could claim the same thing about you, Zachary. Yeah, it trickled down for your mama and your daddy. Now you told us they're still married. I wonder if they're happily married. I bet they were happy to get you the hell out of the house. I bet on that. Well, that's 
that's what it is. So, okay, so, ba so basically, it, okay. they're being unprofessional. So that's okay, they're being unprofessional. Right. Is it not your policy to be professional? Yeah, I think I'm, 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 I'm being very professional. Okay, well, they're being unprofessional. That's why they're being unprofessional. How are you doing, sir? Because they're not giving us... I think I saw you earlier. What's your name and badge number, sir? Can you unfold your arms for the citizen safety place? I think I saw you at Wawa earlier. <laughs> is, is it Maranello? Did I say it right? Are you? I don't know. You're talking uh, I'm, I'm Sir, uh, re I'm respectfully, could you identify yourself? They're not identifying themselves. So if you could be professional as opposed to these gentlemen here, I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay. I got it. All right, so are you guys going to... Do your job or what? Can you pull your hands from behind you for citizen safety, please? No. That's what we need to do. I'm no. not talking to you. I'm talking to you. No. For citizen safety, please. You're not in charge. So you're, you're obstructing. You're so you guys are obstructing. Oh, well, you're safe. You're safe. You're sure? Oh, I don't know awesome. what you have behind you. So you're obstructing, you're obstructing, you're obstructing, you're obstructing, and you're obstructing with me having to file a formal complaint. Imagine that, good people. Another fraud are going to file a frivolous complaint. <laughs> Will the insanity ever stop? Is Zany Zach, you're about ready to get kicked out of some place again, aren't you, man? Maybe this place. Let's keep rolling the clip. Okay. Very oh, unprofessional. Well, can you stop waving? We asked you what the complaint place? is about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. You won't say it. Citizen safety, please. I, I didn't hear that. What'd you say? I'm asking you what the oh, complaint is about. Your pocket, please. Are you just saying that? I don't trust that you're going to do anything about it. You're just going to investigate yourself and find there is no wrongdoing. I can't hear so you. No, I need so I, I need your names and badge on. numbers. I, I don't know you. I don't know who I they are. Gave you my name I don't know who they are. Who are they? I, I gave you my name. So you're gonna go round and round. You're just gonna play head games all oh, yeah, day. We're gonna play games. You're just gonna poke and prod and be antagonistic. Oh. Okay, I see how this is. All right. All right. Very unprofessional. No. Sir, could you uh, bring a positive light to this? They're not identifying themselves. What's your name and badge number? Could you please identify yourself? Do you have a name, badge number? So you're going to follow their unprofessional lead? Can you take your hands out of your pocket, sir, for citizen safety? These cops are all familiar with these jack wagons. They know each and every one of them, especially little jailbird Joey. They remember his brother. Yeah, they got a reputation there in Miami, no doubt about it. And it's not a good reputation. You guys are all recording, right? That's recording? Is it on? See, what it is, they don't like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> they already look like fools on camera. Wow. You guys know there's cameras everywhere inside this building. The one, yeah. You guys know there's cameras all inside the building. So you guys oh, yeah. came in and gave us an attitude because we're exercising our right to record inside of a building. It's already recording everywhere. I mean, you can't go anywhere these days without being recorded. I don't understand what the attitude is. You want to start over, identify everybody, then I'll tell you what, you know, why I want to complain. I didn't. I didn't come here to I'm complain. The, I came here, listen, you know, just to do my thing. And you guys asked listen, me what am, you want, what we want. Command right now, and I'm asking you, what is the complaint? If you don't want to tell me, I just told, then we okay, I'll, I'll, I'll enlighten you just a little bit. So, number one, I want to complain that they're first of all not identifying themselves, and on you for being standoffish and not answering my question and being respectful. Right then. So let me get this straight. You want everybody to respect you, but you don't want to respect anyone else. That's a sure sign of a malignant, narcissistic personality. No doubt. But most frauditors are narcissistic, no doubt. And a sociopath to boot. Okay. So that's, that's a start. That's a start. So can we, can we overcome this first hiccup and at least identify your all selves? There's nothing to overcome. Okay, so you don't want to progress the conversation. You just want to be I, a brick in the wall. As, okay. As soon as you told me what is it that you need, I'll we keep I need your names and badge numbers. I've said that like 20 times. For what? I just because told you I'm one of the right. reasons why. Because you guys are unprofessional. You know my You're obstructing my, you my right my to file a formal complaint you against public servants. You guys work for uh, us. Let me know when, you're, when I can speak. Go ahead. You have my name, my you're badge my numbers, name. number 12. Okay. What I didn't ask for just mean? yours. I asked for all of your officers' names and, and badge I'm numbers. You that I am the first person in and I'm giving you a lawful order. I'm giving you a lawful order to give me all their names and badge numbers. Yeah. Why, can't you, right. why can't you set the bar high of the professionalism and just identify? I see why they well, act the way they do. I'm setting it high, trust me. <laughs> it's, very, it's really low. Uh, yeah. Public opinion will still will say otherwise. We all have opinions. We all have opinions. That's, yeah, that's. Did you hear what Zach said, good people? 
I'm giving you a lawful order. And he says that to the captain. No respect at all. None. Zero. But that's because mommy and daddy didn't teach him any better. Yeah, you know, some kids just grow up in a dysfunctional household. And I don't know. That's how they turn out in life. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> there was two more over here. Seven officers for cameras. Oh, of course it is, because you don't care about citizens. Were you guys trained by the Gustavo? We got two more officers. You can tell Zach's a little snowflake. Yeah, he melts every time, doesn't he? Always talks about tyranny. And you know how he wants to talk about the Nazis. Having no idea what the Nazis represented, having no idea what they did, he just hears everybody else say it. So he says it too. Yeah, study your history, boy, and then shut your mouth. <clears throat> you guys are you guys are all recording, correct? With your body cams? Okay, well I'm not gonna say anything else to you guys. Yeah, but the same thing. You wanna go around and fire something? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, uh, we're gonna go around this way. You wanna stay here? You wanna come with us or yeah. All right, this video runs for another 17 minutes. We're not going to watch all that nonsense. But let's watch a little bit of body cam footage from the cops as they yap about these idiots because they know what time it is. And roll that clip. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, the one that in the hoodie we've yeah, arrested him before. Because I'm just passed. looking at it. The something just passed along that they could no longer record us at a certain amount of feet. If we tell them to stop, they got to stop for you because they get arrested. But if that guy's been the trespass from, our, from the police station, they're not. If my memory serves me correctly, he's been arrested for it. He's, he's got a, it's got South Florida agitators or something like that. They've got a YouTube channel. Hmm. The guy's a giveaway because he's got the gold teeth. And I don't know if that's his brother or not, but he's usually with a oh, brother or some other female. I know one of them got arrested. One of them died not too long ago. All they do is agitate because they're trying to get a, a rise out of you. That's it. That's all it is. They're trying to see how far you can this is, this is the way That's exactly right, officer. They try to see how far they can go. They're going to see if they can push you into making some kind of negative comment. Then they'll file a complaint on you. Yeah, especially little Joey here. He's a choir boy, isn't he? He looks handsome sitting in the back of that squad car. I bet Bubble would be salivating over something like that. What do you think, good folks? Look over in other countries, and other countries have it clearly identified because in other countries they're there to help you. I mean, but they could have United used States. any other color at all. Like, right. even yellow. Yeah. I mean, anything would have been right. better. Just so you can see them, but they want to hide from you because... For you guys, I'd recommend pink. Because, like, guys are a bunch of drama queens. Oh, you got his, uh, Northwest. Yeah, this is the addresses here. Man, what happened to America? How you doing, sir? We were just inside. Um, good, morning. good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. You seem uh, reasonable. So we were just inside. There were like six or seven officers that wouldn't identify themselves. The only person who did was the captain. Um, do you mind identifying yourself, uh, name and badge number for us? No, we can't do that right now. You can't right now? Why is that? We follow rules. Man. Your rules are not to identify yourselves? That's the first thing, because I've talked to many police and they, that's part of their policy is when asked, just like if I were to ask you for a supervisor, you would have to go get your supervisor. If I ask for your name and badge number, you have to provide that because some people can't read. On that note, good people, I'm going to cut that video right now. Some people can't read. Yeah, there's a lot of frauditors out there who I believe can't read. They're just about that stupid. Yeah, well, I tell you what, though, uh, let's watch another video from Zany Zach. And let's watch him get arrested, because I know everybody likes a good arrest video, right? Roll that clip. Controllers, we're outside the tax collector for Polk County, Florida. Beautiful flag out front. Looks to 
be in good condition. Also, as you can see, we have the, uh, the Polk County Sheriff vehicle out front. So I would assume there is a or some law enforcement inside. We're just exercising our First Amendment right to freely uh, take pictures and video inside of our public buildings that we pay for with our taxes. Uh, it's under freedom of press, First Amendment. And without further ado, let's head on in. This is the jack wagon behind the camera. He hangs around with Lana and Jailbird Joey. He never came on my radar until he started hanging around with those yahoos. Now he's getting himself arrested. Welcome to the club. Oh, and here's the kicker. He claims to be a good Christian man. Right. Well, anyway, let's continue. A few minutes later. K1 says they... K1 says they one. K1 says they one. Testing. Sir? Mm hmm. K1 says they one. That's your ticket number? No, ma'am. No. no, no. Okay, so are you, are you recording? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Have you already told them in the front? No. No? No, I just walked in. So they're doing testing there, so you cannot go that okay. way. Okay. Okay. Hi, sir. Hey, how you doing? Good. So you're not allowed to record back here because of the confidential information that's recorded. You're allowed to record out there all you want, but unfortunately you're not going to be allowed to record back here. Hi, how, what's your name again? My name is Gail Stason. I'm the manager. Gail, nice to meet you. I'm nice Zach. You. Yeah, I'm just uh, filming all I'm able to see from public. That's all. Okay. All right, but because there's confidential information shared back mm -hmm. here, you're not allowed to record back here. Yeah, yeah. How okay. you doing, sir? Well, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? So, Can I get your name and badge number? Michael Bonner, 6038. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm going to ask you to interact with me, not him, okay? But we do need you to step back into the lobby so you can record out there. Now, some of you may be wondering, if this is the tax assessor's office, why is there a testing area? Well, in the state of Florida, this is also where you get your driver's license. So that's why there's a testing area. And this idiot's back there with a camera. That's not going to do too well, sonny boy. Let's watch him get arrested. Well, I can record anywhere that's public, right? No, sir, not. Well, this area not really isn't public. This is testing. Well, I'm not let's back step, Let's step up out here, please, sir. I, I will. Okay, I will in a minute. Let's do that right now. No, sir, not in a minute. You were, we'll do you were doing so good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Gail, right? We need to have our, yes. Okay. But we need to have our conversation out there, not back here. So I'm going to ask you okay. to go out to the lobby, and we'll talk out there. Well, I'm going to finish getting my pictures and stuff, and then I'll head no, out sir, there. No, sir. I just walked in. not back here. So you don't have any signage. Uh, yeah. That says restricted area. No, I don't. But there's confidential information that's back here. So Every public building has confidential information. I understand, information. but we have people back here testing right now, so we I'm not, take I'm this not confirmation. Filming We're I'm not talking, filming which can be distracting to them when they're trying. To the only reason why I'm still here is because you came out and talked to me, which I'm okay with. Well, you can talk to me; that's fine. Well, we're going to talk out here, so we're not distracting them, well, and you're not allowed res to record. Respectfully, back here. I'm not going to follow your okay, directives. Okay, please, please escort him out. Okay. Okay, let's go, sir. Are you escorting me out, sir? I'm. Escorting, would you like him trespass from the property? I always like when these fools say solicitating a trespass. They can't pronounce the word soliciting. <laughs> That's just how stupid they are. But I don't know if this lad's like that. I wonder if he solicits prostitutes. Um, I will follow up with you on that in just a moment. Okay. Because I'm sir. not breaking the law or anything. So Let's go, sir. Don't touch me, sir. Sir. Don't touch me. Let's go, sir. Why are you touching me? Because is that a law? Asked. Is that a lawful order? It is a lawful order. What, what happens if I don't leave? What happens if I don't leave? Are you arresting me? Until we decide what's going to happen, yes, you are going to handcuffs. Are you arresting me? Until we decide what's going to happen, yes, you are going to handcuffs. Hey, don't turn up. Do, do not turn off my camera. Missed my phone. Do not, do not stop recording that. It's uncanny that these idiots are under arrest and they want that camera to keep rolling. Perhaps they want to show their family, make his mommy proud. So happy for you, sonny boy. You're arrested. A few moments later. 
Deputy Sheriff is about to turn off my body camera once again, which is against the law. So shortly after the Deputy Sheriff unlawfully does this, he brought Gail, the service manager there at the tax collector's office, um, who you saw inside, who did not want me recording in that publicly accessible area, um, to the police vehicle where I was handcuffed, as you see me there, and had her read me a trespass warning, which I'm pretty sure was solicited. Uh, Gail proceeded to ask me if I would willingly leave the public property. I responded in front of Deputy Montalbano that I would leave under threat of arrest and only under threat of arrest. Otherwise, I wanted to continue taking photographs if they were just requesting that I leave. Eventually, I was released from the police vehicle and torture cuffs to begin recording again while Deputy Montalbano unlawfully demanded for my private information to issue the trespass warning as you're about to see. I'm having to explain this, unfortunately, because... Uh, Grady Judd's gang do not utilize body cameras. So let's see if I've got this straight. He was detained temporarily in the back seat of the squad car, told he was trespassed, then he was released. Okay, now he wants to pick up the camera and record all over again. That's only frauditors. Only frauditors mind would work like that. Well, this is a long video, so we're going to kind of cut it short. But let's find out what happens. All right, so you can just put John Doe on the well, on the I'm gonna trespass. Need your correct information for the trespass. You can so. just you can just put my description down. Legally speaking, in the state of Florida, you just put my physical description down. Joe John Doe is a name. If you want, need to put a name down, but I'm not giving you my name willingly. You don't need my private information to do a trespass. Well, okay. Mr. Doe, what is your physical address, sir? I'm not giving you my physical address either, sir. Okay. Just put my physical description. Tell you and what, that's just all you need. Right there, sir. Okay. And what's your sergeant's name? I'm good. I'm and Sergeant Wood. Me anytime yeah. Are, are you guys not recording with the Polk County Department? No, sir. We don't. Oh man, y'all should get those uh, <laughs> transparency and accountability. Talk to sheriff about, okay? Uh, maybe but I will. All right. I'm just doing my job. Okay. So, what is the situation here today? Well, Sergeant, the situation is that Sonny Boy here thinks that he can walk into any public building in the state of Florida, or any state for that matter, and just go ahead and disrupt business for his own personal gain. I was just in there taking pictures and video, gathering content for a story. Before I had a chance to even answer any questions for, from anybody, uh, the woman in there, Gail, I guess she's the uh, manager of some sort, mm -hmm. and she asked me to uh, not go back into the testing area, which I wasn't. I was recording from a public space. You can film all you can see. It's similar to Plainview Doctrine that you guys have. You can flash, flash your flashlights, people's cars and whatnot. Um, and then he came out a little hot. I introduced myself. He introduced himself. You know, he identified himself, which was good. Um, but uh, he immediately grabbed my arm because she kept asking that I leave. And I politely said, I'm not going to leave willingly. or I'm not going to follow your directives just because you want me to go out to the lobby. When I finish, I'll go out to the lobby. I'm just, I'm ga still gathering my content. I'm not getting, doing anything illegal. I'm not disrupting anybody's an business. You've been asked to yeah, but yourself it's from. a public building. If it was a private building and, and it was like a manager of, a, of like a bank or something, say you can't go back in the era of asking to leave, I would absolutely 100% have, have to leave mm -hmm. at but that point. Understand. These morons, aka frauditors, still don't grasp the fact that when someone asks them to leave, they have to leave. Doesn't matter if it's a public building or not. And it doesn't matter who your daddy is either. You must go. She has the right of the manager of the establishment and business to have you removed from the property. Not a law-abiding citizen. Yes, yeah, she If is. I'm disrupting business, which I was, I'm not keeping anyone from doing their job. You're recording in the business that where they're testing and where this is basically personal information, it's tests to do driver's license, things every, like that. Every every public have building. You ask people in there if you can record them. If I go to Disney and take pictures, do I have to ask every single person well, I'm taking a picture of? They are in a place <laughs> where they are getting their driver's license, they're doing tax documents, they're doing all this stuff. Okay. So this is a different establishment than you would at Disney. So with what I was doing in there, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? This is the thing. They have asked you to be trespassed from the property. But what if so, they were asking to trespass me for having dark skin? You wouldn't let, enforce that, would you? Let's do this. It's unconstitutional. Be logical. Let's be constitutional and let's logical. Be logical and Oh, pardon me, Sergeant, but he doesn't use logic. He uses frauditor logic, which is completely different than what everyday people use. But you carry on, Sergeant. Yeah. To this situation. I'm they logical. have asked you to be removed from the establishment, which that, that is their right. I'm not breaking any law. It's not a right. 
They have they, asked to be trespassed. They've asked you not to record in there where people are taking the test, where they're doing their documents, things like that. You can understand this is not a Disney World, Bush Garden, somewhere like that where you're going to... I use that example to, to, you know, just say you don't go around asking people if you can well, get their example, picture. My example, and that's a private, logical. and so and, and public. Not. So no, it is logical. I was making the point that at Disney World, if you take a selfie and you got four thousand people behind you, you're not going to go around and ask everybody if you have their permission to be in your your picture. This is pu this is public though. In public, you don't have to do that. Hang on one second. You have been asked to remove yourself from the property. Well, I'm off now. Done. No, you're not. Not off the property. Well, I'm not they have filming where they now ask for you to be trespassed. Okay. So at this point, you're no longer legally allowed to be at this property. All right. So, so am, I, am I officially have, trespassed? You are officially okay. trespassed. Am I going to get like a form or something like that so I can put you, you all need as a to defendant? Provide your information. We will give you all of our information. Oh, I'm not giving out my private information because that's. Predators always want to remain anonymous. You have to wonder why. What do they have to hide? Well, I tell you what here, in about another 15 minutes or so, the lad gets arrested. So now your information is public, sonny boy, so I guess it backfired on you, huh? That's, uh, well, this is the thing. Give us your name, needed. your date of birth, we'll pull it up. We're not out here publicizing Okay, well then it. I don't need it then. So, your name again, Sergeant Wood, and what's your badge number? 7250. Okay, and what was yours again, sir? But Multiple this is the thing, you're not... Okay. You're not free to leave because we're in an investigation where you're being trespassed from this property. So we need your information if you want to do it privately. Well, it's unlawful to detain it because I wasn't breaking the law. If she wants me out the property, you guys are going to try to enforce it unconstitutional. You're in an investigation. You are refusing to provide your information. We don't know who you are. We don't know what you're doing. Things like that. You don't know who, what this lady's doing with the but pink hat on. I guarantee you if I go up to her and ask her if she could provide her information, you can freely tell me it. You can guarantee you that? Yeah. That's I'm a, sure she has no problem because she's not here to do anything <laughs> malicious or anything like so that. So because I, I'm exercising my Fourth Amendment, I, I'm malicious or nefarious? You, no, you can exercise your right all you want. Well, you obviously not in, because you're you logically, in, you're, you're violating my rights. No. All right, good people. This nonsense is going to continue for another 15 to 16 minutes and we're not going to listen to all that. Let's get to the part where the lad flatly refuses to identify and now he's taken into custody for real. Let's throw that clip. 15 minutes later. So you are being placed under arrest. Oh, really? All right, just don't turn that on. Right. Here, if you hold that, he's been. What's the uh, what law have I broken? No, I don't have any knives. And, and don't turn off the video either. I was unlawfully arrested and charged for three misdemeanors, namely trespass, fail to leave upon proper owner order to do so, two, resisting arrest without violence, three, false ID given to law enforcement officer. Oh, I'm very pleased about this, good people. I've been waiting for this yahoo to get arrested for a long time. She's got a real smart mouth. Well, he hangs around with Lana. she got a smart mouth, too. Yeah, we need to get these frauditors arrested a few more times. Maybe sit in the tank for a while. Think about what life choices they want to make. Well, at any rate, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Sonny Boy. You claim to be a good Christian. I don't know, good Christians would do all this nonsense. Get a real job. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come trying to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. 
I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted She assaulted me. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Take a swing. Take a swing. You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Salami hala handula. Alu akbar. Haknuikanda kra. Ula wala fufatai. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit me. Okay, Sir, okay now you take my picture, dude. I don't know you. I got a broken shoulder! We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. I have been putting in job applications and it's, I, I don't know any job where you walk up to it, fill out the application and they hire you right on the spot. She spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Right now she spit in my face. I got a camera. $60 guys is what we're trying to raise. So if you can help out, contribute towards it, feel free to donate, guys. I won't ever ask for money on this channel again. You touch my phone, you can't touch my phone. Okay, you touch my phone. Why did you touch my phone? You touch my property. Hey, what's up, guys? So we're here at the America's Best Value. Um, we're trying to get a room. I'm asking for help. Please, guys, I need y'all's help. You can't solicit a trespass, bro. You just solicited a trespass. I asked her what she wanted. No, you can't say, do you want them trespassing? You can't use that line. She touched my phone. I got it on a video. I want to arrest her. I want to arrest her. I want you, you're going to go to jail now. <laughs> We're a little low on funds, guys. Uh, so I want to make a quick video. If there's any way you guys can help out, uh, we're trying to get a room. Uh, I'm gonna pay you too, okay? Right. You're done already. I got you in all videos. This is a public sidewalk. She touched me. She touched my phone, okay? okay. This is an expensive phone. This is almost 1200 okay? <laughs> Mrs. Potato's breaking my balls, everyone. <laughs> She's straight up breaking my balls. I will never beg you for it. I won't beg nobody for nothing. Please don't touch me. Step sir, outside. Sir, sir, what are you doing? I, I what are you doing? Donate to the PayPal if you can help out. If you can't, I understand. PayPal link below. So if any of you would like to send me some money to help me out, I could greatly use it, but I'm not begging you for it. So just leave. I live here. 